Hello. This video is a continuation of my previous video, focusing on the process of balancing rigging when the center of gravity of the cargo is not aligned or not on the center. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of performing manual calculations to assess the balance of your proposed rigging, without relying on visual drawings. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let us do the calculation base in this given sketch. Base on the rigging sketch, we're using one piece of 35 ton shackle at lifting point number one, and two pieces of 25 ton shackle at lifting point number two. Shackle dimension as shown in the table for 25 ton and 35 ton shackle. Let us combine the total length of rigging for lifting point number one, and lifting point number two. For lifting point number one, we're using 35 ton shackle plus 6 meter of wire sling, and for lifting point the number two we're using two pieces of 25 ton shackle plus 6 meter of wire sling. The total length of rigging for each lifting point as shown. Please take note the formula and bring out your calculator so you can follow me to my computation. Base in given distance of each lifting point to center of gravity, and length of each rigging. Start to substitute all given value to given formula as shown. During the planning stage of rigging, I primarily utilize AutoCAD to create drawings in order to verify the necessary length of rigging required for ensuring load balance during lifting operations. However, I discovered that this step is somewhat time consuming. I decided for using this mathematical method in order to expedite my planning process. By entering the necessary data into the spreadsheet, I can expedite the process of calculating the optimal rigging combination needed to achieve load balance. I hope this formula and spreadsheet assist you during your planning phase. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Here we start to calculate the area and height of the triangle. By calculating this, we can get the new length of rigging at lifting point number 1 and lifting point number 2. Once you got all the necessary data, you may proceed to calculate the position of the rigging center line in relation to the cargo center of gravity. Formula and calculation as shown. In this case, we reach a rigging center line distance to the center of gravity of 1.05 mm. This provides excellent value for optimizing load balancing. Let us do another example. Consider using 25 ton shackle plus 6 meter of wire sling on lifting point number 1. And for lifting point number 2 is one piece of 35 ton shackle and 55 ton shackle plus 6 meter wire sling. We know already that this rigging combination is not be balanced, base in previous calculation the good combination of rigging is 35 ton and 25 ton shackle. For the purpose of calculation, let us do this example. All the same formula we will use.
Using this rigging combination, we can see that the rigging center line is around 119.82 mm away from the cargo center of gravity. Having this value away from cargo center of gravity, the cargo will be tilted around 1.28 degree or one side will be up around 150 mm. Here are the spreadsheet, by inputting the required data. It automatic calculate the distance of rigging center line to cargo center of gravity. Also the degree of cargo tilt.